Good morning and welcome to the video. I'm about to head off on an early morning run. It is Friday, April 10th. Today's workout, I have a two mile warm up and then I have um, six reps of one kilometer, which is a little over 0.6 of a mile. Um, and that will and should be done at 4.05 per rep. It's a 6.34 minute per mile pace with a two minute walk in between each rep and then a two mile cool down. So let's head off. It's a beautiful morning. It's nice and brisk. It's perfect. Let's go. So, intervals are complete. I was able to knock out like a little over four miles during those six one kilometer intervals. I'm on my two mile cool down right now. So this morning, I was able to get in a little over eight miles. So solid session. Okay, so post run breakfast. Here we have an English muffin with some Kerrygold's butter and some of this absolutely amazing Bucky's apple butter. And then I have protein sludge. So this is the uh, fruity cereal flavor, two scoops of this, mixed in with some of this milk made into a sludge. I'm gonna throw some of these berries here, like so, and then take the fat-free Ready Whip. You guys already know the deal like that, and that is breakfast. So I did the run this morning fasted, and after the run, I weighed 190 pounds even. So we're getting down there, uh, along with my morning breakfast every morning, you guys know, one scoop of strong greens, like so, one scoop of strong reds. I mix them in the same bottle. This is by far our best selling um, stack that we offer at Bear Performance Nutrition right now. And we're also going to do four capsules strong multivitamin, essential vitamins, minerals, and we also added uh, Bacopa, which is a very potent, strong, and clinically studied nootropic for cognitive health, focus, and boosting that mental acuity. And then one capsule. Uh, strong joints, which just came back in stock last night. Five capsules, let's go and wash it down. And that's the morning sack. Now, you know what's crazy? I remember the days when we will only have like two to three cars to the warehouse. It's kind of surreal, but as you grow a company, uh, you obviously hire more employees and having like eight to 10 cars, depending on what we're doing in the warehouse parking lot or the office parking lot now. It's crazy where we started and where we're going. It's all gone. What do we got for, for lunch for Jordan today? Chicken and rice with mustard and ketchup on it. Feeling a little frisky. Ooh, hold this for me. I'm gonna grab my lunch real quick. Mine is similar this morning, actually. Or this, actually, it's lunchtime. We all do lunch at 11 a.m. because we can't hold off. It's 10.58. Because so we get here at five. It's just about, yeah, we work. We work a lot. So I have chicken and potatoes that I'm gonna throw in the microwave and then uh, throw some ketchup on here. Eight ounces of chicken, eight ounces of red potatoes. Quick, easy, convenient. I've been doing potatoes and ground beef a lot lately since we got that, that cow uh, that steer at the local Georgetown ranch, grass-fed beef, but today it's chicken. So. Yours looks a lot better than mine. That's because you covered yours in I'm, mustard. Mine's been sitting in here for two days too. That's disgusting. So we all do a lot of bro meals here for lunch typically. Most people here bring chicken, beef, potatoes, rice. I even saw Preston eating ground chicken and rice with ketchup and mustard, cold, not microwave at 8.30 a.m. this morning. 
I shit you not. How often for breakfast do you have chicken and rice? <laughs> for bre- I don't eat chicken and rice for breakfast anymore. That I fast and then I'll eat my chicken and rice. What, Beef and rice. What is that calendar too? That's my Uline calendar. So that's Wisconsin. Where I'm gonna retire. My cabin in Wisconsin. Now another pair of running shoes. I've been blowing through um, my running shoes. The current Hoka Rincons that I've been using for my training are absolutely just thrashed. They're, they're gone. Um, so it's time to get a new pair. One of the things that I've changed over the past couple of months that's made a big difference is I separate my running shoes from my everyday shoes. And I didn't used to do that and that was a big mistake because I just I would run through shoes even faster. So my, my preferred pair of running shoes at the moment are the Hoka One One Rincons. Kind of switch up the, the color waves. I'll show you what I'm wearing right now. Cause I get these questions all the time. What are those shoes? What shoes are you wearing? What shoes and what watch is probably the top two questions. Watch is the Garmin Phoenix 5 Plus. These are my everyday shoes right now. These are the New Balance uh, 1080V10s. Wasn't a big fan of these for running. So I just turned these into my everyday uh, wear shoes. And then I only wear my running shoes for running. So these were my previous Rincons. This is what I wore on the run this morning. The reason they're out here by the front porch is because they smell so ridiculously bad. You know, when I was younger, I played ice hockey. And if any of you guys ever played ice hockey, um, your equipment bag has this distinct smell. It's like sweat that's been just embedded into the equipment and just smells like ridiculous. But it's also one of those smells that you just like, you gotta smell every once in a while. That's how these shoes smell. It's like, it smells, these shoes, they smell like old hockey equipment. It like takes me, it literally takes me back to when I was younger playing ice hockey. Maybe I'll keep these shoes as like a, whew, they're sour. All right, so this is Ryder's last couple hours as an only sibling. We're going to get Ryder's uh, baby sister right now, little puppy. All right. All right guys, so we are on our way towards the Dallas area because Steph and I are picking up our new puppy, Remy. And whenever we head north, we have to stop at Bucky's for the beautiful array of jams and jellies. So I'm running low and some of the guys at the warehouse need some more stuff. So apple butter, stocking up for my morning English muffins, blackberry preserves. And then we're also gonna do, let's try, try a, it is peach butter, no? No peach butter? Pumpkin butter? No. Maybe we'll try a red raspberry preserve. And that should be good for the next couple weeks. There's pickles and onions on it. We are going a little north of Dallas to go pick up the newest member of our family. Her name is Remy Bear. She's a little baby eight week old golden doodle. So we're road tripping to go get Ryder, his sister, and we had to stop at Bucky's, of course. When traveling I've north. I've never had this. This looks kind of sketchy. No, these are great. These are This sandwich is amazing. This is a turkey uh, sandwich with pickles and onions. It's good. It's good. Like I was saying, whenever we head north and we pass through Bucky's, there's this rule that if you pass the Bucky's, you have to stop. You can't drive past the Bucky's. And, uh, Bucky's actually makes like really good brisk brisket sandwiches. They make really good uh, pulled pork sandwiches. This is like their roasted turkey with some barbecue sauce, onions, pickles, on like a potato roll to die for. So this is a little road road trip snack. And then uh, a coffee for some stems. Hey, Roy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. We're about, <laughs> we're about to introduce Ryder to Remy. All right, I love you too. Yes, <laughs> thank you. 
<laughs> All right, hey, let's... <laughs> hey, you're about to meet your little sister. Are you ready? Yeah, you can definitely smell it. Look at this. You can definitely smell it. What is it? <laughs> what do you think, Rye? Hey, say hi, Ryan. Oh. You guys best friends already? So welcome back to Nick's and Steph's kitchen. Today we are making chicken, apple, kale, summer salads. All right, so first step, we have to throw the chicken on the Traeger. Here's my biggest tip for cooking chicken breasts. We do a lot of chicken thighs. I don't do many chicken breasts anymore. However, we do chicken breasts. What we like to do is tenderize them. So, take your chicken breast, throw it in a baggie, or you can put just like a saran wrap over top. Get nice and close here. Now, you're gonna take your mallet, your tenderizer, you can use this part right here, and we're just gonna hammer this down. This makes the chicken breasts a lot more tender. It makes it uh, a little juicier, more enjoyable to eat. And then we're gonna tenderize this till it's about, I'm gonna say, maybe a half inch thick. We're gonna do salt. We're gonna add pepper. There's some garlic salt on here and we're gonna throw some Traeger, a few pieces of chicken breast. But I highly recommend, if you're making chicken breast on the grill, uh, tenderize your meat before you cook it. So the next step to the salad, after we destemmed all of the kale, uh, we like to top it with crushed cashews in replacement of like a crouton. It's just a healthier option. It gets that fat in there, and we get the ones with roasted sea salt. They're so good. And then also dried cranberries for a little bit of sweetness and reduced fat feta cheese. So this is like the secret sauce of the salad. This is what makes it super unique and flavorful. You cut up apples really thin, kind of like little mini fries, and or you could like shred it with like a peeler. And this just adds like a whole new like level of, what would you say, like crisp. There's crunch, there's sweetness. Yeah, it's so good. Texture. Yeah, it's this is what kind of pulls together the salad. Now for the dressing, I always knocked it at first. Yeah, you did. This is like the best dressing for kale salad. And the trick is you have to measure it because sometimes I try to eyeball it and it's not good. Like you have to get these proportions correct. So it's just made out of three things, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, and normally we use sugar-free syrup, but because of the situation right now, we can only find, you know, the full throttle. Start with the base, which is olive oil, and it is four tablespoons. Add in two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and then finally, one fourth cup of the maple syrup. All right, now to bring it all together, I'm telling you, we have this at least once a, a week. Highly, highly recommend it. So we have the kale, apple, cranberry, feta, and with the dressing on there already. Then we're gonna do the diced up chicken. I'm gonna throw heavy amount of chicken on there. Top the crushed cashews like so. We always do non bread. Non bread, right? Mm -hmm. Non bread on the side. The kale, apple, kale, apple. <laughs> Kale, chicken, apple, summer salad. Bon appetit. All right guys, so it is a few hours after dinner and the last thing I'm doing tonight is I'm using the juicer and juicing some of this stuff. Uh, so we have an entire beet cut in half, an orange cut in half, some stalks of celery, a few carrot stalks, and this is ginger root right here. So I'm going to throw this in the juicer and throw this back. Just a bunch of vitamins, minerals, nutrients. <laughs> All 
All right, so last thing of the night before we try to put Remy down for the night and see how the two dogs go for our first night in, in the house with two dogs. This is the fruit juice. I will tell you that investing in a juicer has been one of the things, one of the best things we have purchased. Ooh, Nick. wow. That was uh, Nick. You got it, Ryder. No. All right, on that note, I'm gonna throw this back. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, looks like a massacre. I'm gonna have to clean this up. Cheers. That ginger is bitey.